At the end of this chapter, you will be able to describe the structure of DNA. Why do you look different from everyone else? Why are you distinct? You have a cute nose, an expressive pair of eyes, and even a good behavior. I bet you have an idea that this is because of our different biological characteristics. Our differences lie in our DNA. It's because our DNA is unique. This is a DNA molecule, the deoxyribonucleic acid. So what makes it so unique? Which part of its structure is different from that of every individual? Making us different from each other. Let's ask the basic question first. What is DNA? The DNA provides a blueprint for the cell structure and physiology. It contains the information necessary for the cell to build an important group of molecules called proteins. It is like an instruction manual that contains the information needed on how every cell in your body will develop and function. It stores the information for your traits, how brown your eyes are, how tall you are, how straight or curly your hair is, and even why you can roll your tongue or why you have a blurred vision. In this lesson, you will learn how the genetic information from the DNA is used to synthesize proteins that are responsible for your biological characteristics. DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid is obviously a nucleic acid. Nucleic acids are biomolecules that are made up of repeating units of nucleotides. They were discovered by Friedrich Mischer in 1869. Look at this single nucleotide. Combine nucleotides and you'll have nucleic acid. Nucleotides are the building blocks of nucleic acid. How are they connected to each other? Of course, there is a bond that links them together. This is called the phosphodiester bond. It links the sugar of a nucleotide to a phosphate of another nucleotide. Let's study the components of a nucleotide. Nucleotides are compounds with three components, a five carbon sugar, a phosphate group, a nitrogenous base. If the sugar in the nucleotide is deoxyribose, then the nucleotide will form a DNA. It's called a deoxyribonucleic acid because of its sugar component called deoxyribose. The nitrogenous base of a DNA has four types. The cytosine, C, thymine, T, adenine, A, and guanine, G. Notice the linked nucleotides in this diagram. You already know that they are linked together by a phosphodiester bond. The link is between the sugar of a nucleotide to a phosphate of another. But the DNA is double-stranded. See the two strands here? Those two strands are connected by a hydrogen bond. So the link is between the nitrogenous bases. Also, the two strands of a DNA run in opposite directions. The two strands are said to be anti-parallel. To show you this, notice that the first strand from top to bottom has 5 prime to 3 prime. That's the opposite of the second strand, which has 3 prime end at the top. The two anti-parallel strands are joined by the pairing of the bases following complementary base pairing rules. So A always pairs with T and C always pairs with G. That's not all you need to know about the structure of a DNA. If we look at it in a three-dimensional way, it looks like a twisted staircase. See? The staircase twists and forms the double helix DNA strand with varying base sequences. So that's exactly the reason why we are different from one another. It's because our DNA has different base sequences. 
your DNA contains the genetic information for your development and functioning. It contains the information for your traits, and again, the varying sequences of the DNA bases make each of us distinct. How does this happen? Let me show you an example. What is the role of your DNA in the expression of your black hair? In your DNA, there's a basic unit for trait expression called a gene. It is a small segment of the DNA that contains a series of nitrogenous bases, and it will code for a specific trait. Look at the diagram. Let's say that the colored fragment in the DNA is the gene for your black hair. That gene, containing specific base pairs, will be expressed by the synthesis of proteins with the help of RNA. These are reflected in numbers 2 and 3 in the illustration. And number 4, after functional proteins are synthesized, the specific trait of your black hair will be expressed. A detailed discussion for these processes will be explained in the next chapters of this unit. So where is the DNA located, anyway? The nucleus of a cell houses most of the DNA. But the DNA is not just scattered there. It has its own way of packaging. Histones are proteins that bind DNA and are responsible for the packaging of DNA. Do you see here how a molecule of DNA wraps itself around histones? This forms a nucleosome, which is the building block of the thread formed by these wrapped DNA molecules. This thread is called the chromatin. The chromatin thread forms a coiled structure called chromosomes during cell division. So that would be all for the structure of the DNA. Remember that a DNA molecule has a sugar component, which is the deoxyribose, phosphate, and the nitrogenous bases. A gene, which is a fragment of DNA, is the basic unit for the expression of your traits. What makes you different from others lies on the varied sequences of the DNA bases in a gene. Also, take note that DNA is packed into chromatin fibers by the wrapping of histones into nucleosomes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next chapter.